Here's the promised tufted titmouse from the other side of my Pentalic Aqua journal. Um, I love painting these little backyard birds. It's just such a fun, light little thing to sketch in the afternoon. I really just used one brush this entire time, my Isabi Sable number no. 8, and three colors. So it's pretty much like the other one, just a slightly different angle. And he's holding a um, little seed and sunflower seed in his beak. Um, so I'm using quinacridone rust and some cobalt blue. And I gray the blue a little bit with the rust color. Now I am continuing. I always stroke in the direction of the shapes that I'm painting. And that's very, very important when you have something light with a lot of texture like feathers. So here's, uh, I'm shaping the head around and I'm leaving lots of holes in here. I want a lot of white space and um, I just want very light and fluffy like the birds. So this is a little easy painting to do. And don't forget, always look at what you're painting. That's very important. I do about, uh, it ends up being the, my usual three washes on this. I don't think I can really do a painting with less than three washes and really be happy with it. Um, two washes if I'm in a hurry and don't mind it being a bit heavy. Um, but it's all done kind of at the same time, so things are drying. And if you're outside in the hot sun, then it ends up usually drying much quicker. However, if it's hot, humid Georgia sun, it takes a lot longer. So I can't ever paint outside in the middle of the... Uh, um, the worst of the summer heat but this is obviously inside because it's the easiest way to film and I want to show you because this is a lot of fun so I'm just stroking with the shapes of the feathers and now I'm going back and it's really the second wash but not everything's dried all the way and I'm using some cobalt um, tinged with a tiny bit of the Quin rust again to do the shadows in the feathers Just little squiggly marks and shadows, so I'm not painting over everything that I've already painted. Remember, you paint over a little bit less. Very delicate strokes for the tail. And that really shows up too, so I take my time. I'm trying not to jam my brush too much. And you can see the tufted titmouse. And the slightly different angle shows I really only paint with the very tip of my brush, and that's important. Um, maybe the bottom two-thirds of the brush, and but up next to the ferrule, you don't touch that area. A little bit of delicate footwork. Just painting the wrinkles really and laying the highlight show. Um, white, leave white. Now the eye. And since this um, one brush does have such a very fine point, I can do the eye with the exact same brush as everything else. So just take your time because that's the highest contrast. That's your center of interest. You're looking at the bird's, you know, little black eye. Now a little bit more detail on the feathers. And building up in layers. And you can see how all the splatter paint really integrates everything.
Now the belly of the bird is just a warm, rusty red, so the quin rust is perfect for that. It really doesn't need anything else. Touch of the cobalt blue in the shadows, but the ultramarine blue was really just for a very strong dark in the eye, and that's about it. Very delicate on the head. Keep the strokes very subtle. You, this entire thing takes about 15 minutes um, minus you know, anything boring that I <laughs> clipped out. Have to be a little faster for YouTube, right? So the edges are what really matter here. You want to keep the edges light and fluffy. I'm shaping the jawline. It's not really a jaw, but the rounding of the head. Very light, feathery strokes because I'm painting feathers. But the edges are what matters here, too. Very, very dark at that black spot at the um, base of the beak. And that ends up drawing some attention to where the eye is as well. So it's a lovely frame there. And that gets built up in the under layer of a bit of cobalt blue and then two layers to get the rich dark. But they dry very quickly. Very delicate strokes here. Line along the beak. Remember, it's holding that seed. Just very delicate. That's a very awkward sort of angle. I'm going to be changing that and showing you how to change it later. Emphasizing the eye with just a couple of very delicate strokes. I'm still using the cobalt blue and quinacridone rust. That's all it needs. A few more darks. And just in the shadows, leave the highlights in the mid-tones. See how I blotted it? And now I'm doing it kind of a, a more obvious angle, what it is. A bit more shadow. And here's the finished bird. A little sketch. Thank you so much for watching this, and I really appreciate you telling me that you'd like to see it so I know exactly what you would like to paint. For more information, please visit my website at paintingwatercolor.com, and I really appreciate you painting with me. Happy painting!